Hey guys, Lance here, and I will admit this challenge, this Halloween challenge that the Slug Disco has created is probably one of the hardest challenges I have ever faced when it comes to playing a video game. And it's really difficult. I'm going to give you the guide on how to do it. I have nearly beaten it. It is just pretty hard. Appetite is insatiable, and there lies a feast of creatures nearby. It will liquidize the flesh and suck the juices of its many victims. So, what you want to do is you want to kill everything here, basically, in the middle first. For as much XP as humanly possible. You also want to make sure you're using a Venom build. So you don't need to upgrade your physical bite past level six, seven. Um, I've already tried to um, withstand the woman's attacks. Um, and damn, is she difficult. Uh, we're we're talk I'm talking about the uh, beach wolf spider here. So actually... You know what, I am going to try a different method this time and see if it works. But I'm going to keep this at level 10. Both of these are level 10. Um, and keep my devour. I'm going to increase my devour to like level 6, level 7. But, hear me out, hear me out. I am going to keep my bite at level 5 or level 4. Just because think that way I can heal very fast without getting swamped to death by her venom because I need to eat as much as possible before because I only have four seconds right when she uh, when she poisons you you have four seconds to eat like you eat and then you have to holy what is that noise then you have to wait four seconds the hell is that noise oh it's the beetles over there um, and then you have to wait four seconds to eat again, and that's just, it is such a hassle. So, what I'm going to do is just try to keep a high devour level. That way I can out-eat her poison. Or at least try. I'm already at Devour level 3. You don't have to necessarily do what I'm doing right here, but to upgrade it like this. My advice is try to keep this upgraded more than the uh, Devour until you finish off killing all four queens. Then you can worry about upgrading your Devour-ish. Let's see. Alright, so we're going to attack the two queens down here. A, for more health. And B, the the queens down here, they are not like mortar ants at all. They don't use the mortar or anything like that. They don't use the... I don't even know what they use. You know, it's like where they pee on you or something. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, let's, let's take these guys out. Notice I haven't really upgraded much. Mostly because these guys are just not... These guys down here are just not a threat. It's just not... It's not even worth it to heal. Like, look at that. So, I'm not really worried about leveling up here. But, like I said, you need to try and do the Venom build. Um, this is very hard. Like, this mission is probably the hardest I've ever come close to just wanting to, like, uninstall a game because of how hard a mission is, you know? But I can uninstall the game because, A, it's a very, very, very good game. Or, you know what I mean? So, I will give props to the devs for that. Like, it is a fantastic game. Very great game. But, damn, is this mission hard. Alright, this guy should be easy to take out because he's just a Hermie. Luckily for us, our Venom's going to wrap him up quickly. Don't worry. 
worry. Our upgraded Venom will help with that. Like I said, do not rely on physical too much. Please do not rely on the physical bite too much. Because when it comes down to the queen down here, you're not going to be biting her at all. Okay? Like, you are going to be spitting and venoming and running for your life. Because one hit by that venom and it's all over for you. I mean, unless you just have level 50 bite, but I really doubt. Like, unless you cheat and mod it in or something. But still, even then, like, that venom's gonna flip and hurt. <laughs> no, I didn't even see you there. Now, trust me, these are mortar ants. Um, probably should get sprayed by one here in like two seconds. I think that one might be. Are you? No. Just a protection boy. So, I, like I said, I'm probably going to only keep that at level 3, maybe. Let's see how that works. Yep, mortar ants. I mean, I could keep it at 4. But then again, I do want high... Um, I want high healing. Just because of that woman's bite, so. Wow, I'm nearly dead from these guys. This is why I was talking about leveling up to get more health. Holy moly, did you see how much health I just got from that? Wow. Jesus, man. Annoying little critters, I tell you. Should probably try to ignore the melee units and just go after the ones that spray you, because, man, their damage is insane. And they're also one hit, so. Alright, cool. It's on level 6. I'm going to keep it that way. I'm going to start upgrading my Venom now. I have a more potent when it comes to... Uh... Can't think of that name right now. The uh... When it comes to the Coach Horse. Dude, like, look at this damage, man. Like, that's insane. But uh, just with one snack of that, and I'm fully healed. So, that's cool. I usually go after that spot last after I kill the queen here. But, I mean, if you're ballsy enough, I mean, theoretically you can do it. Like I just did. And, I mean, I nearly died doing it, but I did it. Alright, so kill the queen. Yeah, but... Like I said, try to go for a Venom build here. Um, venom and a heal build. Uh, this build that I'm recommending right now probably won't be uploaded unless... Uh, prob you probably won't even see it because I'll probably just delete the recording of it. Because I'll let you know what works and what doesn't. Um... And f at the end of the video, I'll definitely include what my final stats were. Holy God of mighty. So people don't get, like, confused and stuff when it comes to, uh... Like, wanting to know what, uh, what abilities is on what level and stuff like that. Come here, baby. Thank you. Cool. So right now we're on level 5 and level 4. On the Venom stuff. And then level 3 bite. I am I might keep the level 3 bite. I think that's what I'm going to roll with. It's just a level 3 bite. And then probably pop me a 7. And devour, actually. And see where that gets me. I mean, because judging from what I saw, they healed me like three, four hundred HP, which was really nice. 
mind you. Alright, now I have to go deal with the cranky hermit crabs that are increasingly long and difficult to kill, mind you. I mean, these guys take forever to kill. I mean, you're going to spend about 15 minutes possibly on these hermit crabs. Mostly because just look at their health, bro. That's like insane. And the reason why I don't bite them is because, man, they bite back. See, watch. Look at that. They bite back. I mean, but then again, I guess I can just go run and heal really quick, right? Huh, let's see. But even then, that's not like enough food for me. He's going to hide in a shell pretty soon. So he can have a nice little surprise gift when he comes out. I might as well go have a little snacky snack. Come on, man. See, that's like only the first big guy, bro. We still got, like, we still have so many more to go when it comes to these. And I didn't stun them correctly. Cool. I'm being like really confident right now because there is food up under me. And that's the only time you should be confident with these hermit crabs. So I can heal more than they can hurt. I mean, I recommend it if you kept the high level devour that I'm doing right now. Look at that. You just healed back to full. I mean, that's insane. I just healed 500 HP in one hit. Jesus. I might be able to last the girl's venom after all. I guess we'll just have to find out. Because if we can just last one hit from her venom, then we know that we potentially will never lose. Because we, as soon as we kill the hermit crab, I mean, what I'm saying, as soon as we kill the hermit crab, bro, the hermit crab's got a lot, like the, the, the main one, like, you know, the big, big daddy. He's got a lot, and I mean a lot, of food to feed off of. Now, of course, I'm being overconfident here, so I can eat. I mean, but then again, you also gotta know, like, I mean, these guys hurt, dude. Don't underestimate that. And if his big old friends come up behind me, then I might be in for a real treat today. Okay. There we go. There we go. Hey. Yeah, you come here. Have some of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here. I like this strat, actually, because you can, like, bite and heal at the same time. So that's cool. And then you can also give him your big old venom. Probably shouldn't try this with a big guy, though. I mean, we'll have to see. This guy just does not give up. I don't know why I ate off of that, even though I fully healed. So, obviously when you level up, you uh, gain full hit points. So, I mean, that's good to know. But yes, you eventually need at least one point in Devour if you're even going to live through this challenge. I can promise you that. Because no, no amount of leveling is just going to save you. That's the truth. Might as well do this. Hit him with that really quick. Now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I've been right-clicking like a sandstorm. Like, 
Why was I going for the sandstorm remark? I don't know. Ooh, see, getting close to death there. But I've been right clicking hard. Or, yeah, right clicking and then spamming my two left mouse buttons. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to lead this man. And he did not get let. That he... I'm going to lead each of these guys over because... Or at least I'm going to kill one like right here. I might just do that instead. I don't know if I can kill him without getting my butthole peppered. About to test the faith. Alright, so cool. So we killed him. We're full HP. Now we take on Big Daddy Hermie. Yeah, come on. I'm the papa. I mean, don't necessarily kill me, because I do not want to die. If we need food or health, we'll just rely it on the old reliable that we've got here. Unless he does, like, some super witty combo that I've never seen before, this should, like, actually last the entire fight. Dude, why are you eating so fast? Ah, oh, it actually slows down your fucking attack speed, too. That's actually quite interesting. That I never knew. The Venom Shot. I never knew that slowed down their attack speed. That's really good to know. Now that my things are centered up. I have about one more luncheon before he totally decks me. So hopefully I can kill him here. I don't know if you can see the queen, but the, the, the queen spider is right there, bro. And she is... She is not the friendliest of human beings. I'll tell you that right now. Like I said, I think we'll do one more in Devour and call it there. And then the rest to the... Um... See how much health. That was not a lot of health at all. That's not good. Yeah, I definitely think we'll have to, like, get another um, thing in Devour. Otherwise, we could be screwed here when it comes to getting, like, fed to protect ourselves from the Queen's Venom. Because we really need that cooldown. Because if we can last that four-second cooldown and then bite another, we should be able to live it off. I mean, it just really depends if the queen is nice or if the game is nice to us. I mean, because this mode is literally just luck. Like, it requires no skill except pointing and clicking. Theoretically, yes. Right? You know. But, still. Like, it is... It, it's, it requires no skill. It's just if you're lucky or not to get hit by a pair of venom or not to get hit by a pair of venom you know yeah you see my next upgrades are definitely going to be venom strike and stuff like that if i can kill these guys much faster now you have to watch out for the devil's coach horse okay holy god i didn't see him um because you remember back before when the first levels when you actually went to fight these guys for the very first time with your ants and they started spraying you. Well, their effect does the same thing as it did to your ants. You get confused and you start wandering around like a, a weird maniac and then you die because there's like three of them on top of you at that point. Um, no, that's more you just dying to the the uber devil, you know. I don't know why they call it that, but by all means, it's not my business. It's not my game. Boop. 
And you should be dead there. No. Oh. Cool. Wow. That was a little horny. I don't know why you want to go after me, but... No, 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 no. Go away. There you go. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Right, come on over. He'll die by that venom before you even reach me. These guys are, like, extremely angry today. I've never had them, like, usually I've had them, like, just bugger off, but this, some of these guys are persistent right now. But, yeah, you always want to try and fight, like, one to two at a time. And when they're low HP, I guess you could melee. Bring around the rosy. When uh, they're low HP, I guess you could just run up and melee them. Oh, you are such a nuisance, you know that? You're a nuisance even more. What are you doing? Get your COVID-19 away from me. That one's like dead instantly. Jesus. Hey, buddies. Hey. He died because he tried to spray me. Lol. Okay. Cool. One more left before we face the biggie one. And then great chilla. Hey, you want to spray me? Yeah, you're stupid. Actually, I didn't. Yeah, you can play Ring Around the Rosie with these guys. And. Ow! You're dead. Cool. Holy god, you were not in the mood today, huh? I missed that. By the way, if you miss your shot, you might want to start running. This goes for the spider as well down here. Run. Because that's all you can do at that point is just run. Now, we're going to pull a pro gamer move here. He's going to sit in the venom. That's cool. I'm just going to eat off your corpse. Oh, I have to watch out for his little, his little special attack, you know, his little spray thing. If I get caught in that, like that, I am not going to have a good time. This could be the end of this recording, and I could just... Okay, bro. Okay, bro. I'm full HP now. Lit. You have become the most annoying person in the world. Honestly, you have. Stop spraying me. Thank you. I'm going to eat you a little bit. And then just run over here. Spray you again. Not spray you again, but hit you down with the venom. And you should be dead right now. Yep. Cool. So that's done. Now we are uh, level 9 and level 7. I probably should upgrade the... I'm definitely going to upgrade the Crippling Venom shop two more times. To try and do it to level 10. Now, uh, advice for the Beatles. Do not... Oh, baby. Do not let them stun you. Like, do not try to fight more than one. Because there's... Kind of talk over this man and you know when it comes to like a crazy person like that it's just really hard to talk over someone actually in general it is but okay dude okay 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 um as i was trying to say before these beetles will stun you for two to three seconds right and believe it or not their stuns will actually stack so if one hits you and you're stunned for three seconds and then another hits you, you're stunned for another six, uh, three more seconds. So in total, you're stunned for six seconds and you're probably dead. 
See? Just like stun, just like that. And I think that was two seconds. But still, like, and that's all it takes is just that one stun. And you are screwed, my friend. See, bro? Like, I gotta really watch out for this big guy. You know, because this dude, this dude wasn't loved enough at home. Okay, so he comes to take it angrily out on me, which is fine, you know, because I can handle the angry moments, okay? Ow! Good God! Just, like, take one half of my life away. I mean, I knew you weren't loved, but Jesus! Okay. So, say we're gonna try and take one at a time, because I don't want to get double stunned, and then start this recording all over. No, 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 no. Hello, big mama. Are you going to whisper in my ear and tell me something that I don't want to hear? Cool. Yeah, if you miss the crippling shot, don't try to... Don't try to run in after him. Not, not a good... Not a good moment. That dude should be dead. Yeah. Okay, cool. Hey, how you doing? I got a surprise for you. Okay, that wasn't really much of a surprise, but... Are you gonna stop eating me now? At least you were in my, like, spray before you stunned me, which is really nice, actually. It looks like there's two things are over here. Oh, it's a small devil's horse. So, I'm gonna go over there, nom on them for, for extra XP. You need as much XP as you can get it. I promise you, you do. So, come here. Your mom didn't love you enough anyway. That's probably really sad, and I shouldn't be saying that, but... These guys are brutal. I've just... I'm just a little angry, because I've been doing it for the past week, and it's just very frustrating. Okay, so... Again, as I said before, when you get down here, do not try to get more than two, or you are fucked. And I mean fucked. Fucked. Because if you get two, then you're going to get four. And then if you get four, you're going to get the whole crew. And then guess who's dead and has to go back to the main menu and restart it all over again? You. Been there. Done that. It is not the most wonderful time of the year. It is not Christmas yet. Okay? So theoretically, we can say that we are not having a jolly folly time. Alright? See, dude? See, dude, oh, man, man, you're annoying. Not right, cool. I'm on level nine. I can get to level ten here. I might get level eight devour. Honestly, doesn't sound such a bad idea. That way, I can heal. So <gasps> see, didn't see that guy coming, and now he's gonna stun me. But that's okay because I have the uh, the venom down. I stunned that guy, and then he didn't want to come over to me, which is even more fun. Oh, leave me alone. Okay, I stunned him. Or I didn't stun him, but he stunned me, and we could be dead here. We're alive. Barely. Holy mother of God. Talk about close calls, man. Okay. Same story down here. You gotta even be more careful, though. Because there's a lot bigger, more guys down here. Nope. Stop with that. You, you are not the aggressive man. You do not want the smoke. And you are stupid. <laughs> Okay, I missed the shot, so I gotta, like, wait for it. Hello, little one. Can I interest you in a fine day of, like, green goo? Thanks. So, I'm gonna get an upgrade of level 8 devour. Holy mother of ancient peril! Dude, didn't even see that guy coming. Yeah, you gotta really watch out for the antennas here. See, dude? It's just... 
It's just not the good move, man. Like, you do not want to, like, do a physicality with this man. Or it's just... It's just not worth it, dude. Oh, see? Now I'm running away. I don't even care that he's lower HP, like, super low. I'm still not going to get stunned by that guy. It's just not happening. That dude's full. Let's hit him with that crippling shot again. He should be dead. Cool. He is. Okay. Like I said, we still got to watch out for the other ones. Oh, boy. Oh, mother of Mary. That's one of the ones that are, is on max HP. We still shouldn't be playing games with him because he's just not a good friend of ours. Okay. Come back. I'll kill you. Thank you. Stopped him with that venom. He stunned me, though. I don't know if you noticed that. He stunned me. That stunning is extremely deadly. Whoa, see? Dude, I gotta, like, hop out of there as soon as it... That dude's got some serious issues. Oh. Okay, there's another big mama that is fully HP. I'm not trying to tussle with her. Go back in there. Come back again. You know what? Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with level 9 Devour. Okay. And then I'm going to upgrade my next two to level 10. I think that's what I'm going to rock with. That way I can see if I can try to outdo her um, Venom. Hi. Okay, I'm going to heal. Like I said, I don't need that much. Oh my gosh, we are like low health. Holy shit. Only a thousand health. Oh, those are full HP fucking buggies. No! You stay back. I got them both? Okay, lit. Now we just have the big guy to deal with. And it's the same concept. He's gonna stun lock us because we are stupid and this really hurts. I think I'm going to upgrade my Venom Strike to 10. And then I'm going to upgrade the Bite to level 4. Just for that little tiny bit more health. That way maybe we can push like 1200. I mean, but then again, I'll have to see. I don't really know. Man, I'm just having like... Like, is it my birthday already? Like... Come on, game. Come on. Tell him to leave me alone. I do not need this torture in my life. Basically, what you're doing for this guy, you'll be doing for the queen as well. The, uh, the spider. You'll be spraying and then running away to kingdom come and pray to God that she does not venom you or you were majorly screwed. I'm not even doing a lot of damage, dude. He's barely taking a hit. But the good thing is, we have time. And I am a very patient man. I'm going to move forward a little bit. Take a little damage. I'm going to come back. He's going to come back at me with full speed, and this could be the end of the video right now because he's just lunging at me and eating my gonads. Woo, boy. See, that's what you got to watch out for because as soon as he stuns you, he starts eating fast. Like a vampire with, like, no control over his food levels. And I, like, yep. It's just very difficult to kill this guy. Okay. 
I mean, theoretically, I could just play Ring Around the Rosie with them in this and see how it works. But then again, that's stunning. I mean, you see that right now. It's just... That stunning factor is just all that he needs to kill me. You know? Luckily for me, I have food right there. So I'm going to try and speed this up because he's just... He's taking too long to die. Let's just be honest here. I mean, though, the more that he sits in the Venom... Wow, I healed up a lot from that. Look, this thing isn't even really doing that much. Cool. Alright, cool. Now we can lead him here. And then I have plenty of food here. I'm gonna let him knock himself out at this point. I just have so much food here that it's just I'm healing faster than what he's killing me with you know unless he stuns me here and then I'm really fucked but I don't think it's gonna happen I think my intervals are too clean I think I got him yep So what's my level? What's my health? Oh, I've already got 1,200, so I probably won't need the extra bite then. Okay. So I am I think here's what I'm going to do. I think this is going to be my final decision. Wow, that's level 10? Okay. So I think I'll be able to upgrade twice. Right? So I'm going to upgrade. If I can, I'm going to upgrade twice. So I'm going to... Either up Devour 1, or I'm going to upgrade the the Venom Shot twice. But judging from how much damage I was doing to that guy, I think I'm going to upgrade the Crippling Shot. But then again, that's just to see how fast it goes. Alright, so here we're at the Spiders. If you miss your shot... With the spiders, like, if you miss your crippling shot, you're screwed. You're dead. Just keep that in mind, and you'll see what I mean. Okay, I missed, so I'm running away. These fuckers are fast, like, fast like you, and they also half your HP in one hit. So not the most wonderful time of the year. See what I'm talking about? And now he's catching up on me. I don't, I think Juicy comes out of the equation when, like, you're nearly dead from them anyway. Alright, so, I can fight that guy because, actually, I can barely fight him. Yeah, your melee at this point will do nothing to these guys. You need to worry, what the hell am I getting hit by? What was that? You need to focus on your Venom more than anything. Okay, see, I didn't hit that guy, so I've got to run away. Okay, I'm going to run away. He's going to follow me. Hopefully not all the way, or else we're having... Oh, he's dead. I got him with that. Cool. Oh, killed one. Okay. He's going to go back, and he's dead. So uh, upgrading the crippling shot here. There we go down to the big mamas. What are you... Who even are you, bro? I'm gonna eat your corpse. Right, so, here we go with this. This guy really hurts. Stay away. He's also got Venom, too. Just keep that in mind. By the way, you can't out-eat these guys like the uh, Tiger Beetle. It's not happening. You will die faster than the Marvel franchise. Wow, just said that. Holy God. Dude, I'm hearing so many spiders right now. It's just not a good look for me. That one's nearly dead, so he should be dead there. Yep, and he venomed me. 
So this is the same concept of what the queen will do to you. She will destroy you with her venom. And I mean, it is not... It is not the nicest thing. Is he eating me? I couldn't tell. So I've got to be careful because there's a lot of big spiders down here. Like that one. That I'm really screwed by. If I don't hit him with this slingshot, I am very screwed here. I am very screwed here. Whoa! See, just like that, it can be all over for you. If you miss that slingshot, it's done. Dude could have... Dude, if he had stunning capabilities, I would have been out. Out of the game. Gotta be careful here. Gotta be very fucking careful here. Okay. Stun. I'm venting. He vend me back. Which does not feel good. Might I add. Wow, I took a lot of damage there for some weird reason. Y'all see that? That's weird. Oh, that's two Venoms. Gonna hurt. Oh, I didn't get hit with Venom at all, surprisingly. Well, that's one down, down there. He's the big one. Set. I'm gonna go for the crippling shot right there. I might be able to pass one more level. If we're lucky, if we're doing... If I get past one more level... Mark my words, I am making it to the point where... Oh, that was a little too late. I'm going to get it 10 devour. 1,000%. Because this venom is killing me very quickly. Holy mother of Mary and Joseph. Da -na 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 -na. You gotta play smart with these guys because these guys are fairly intelligent. So you gotta wait here. Hit him off guard like that. He's gonna run back. He's gonna take a massive amount of damage there. Oh, he's dead. Okay, I only hit one there. That's why I did not push. I only hit one. If I'm going to hit someone, it's going to have to be in a little group. Otherwise, I'm screwed. Okay. I have to be careful here. Okay, that one's dead. Cool. We're almost up a level. So that means we're definitely going for... Oh, that's my twin brother. Okay, I missed again. <laughs> Wow. Holy crap. Nope. Hell no. He was fast and I didn't stun him with that, so. I killed one. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, gotta go back and eat. Got to make sure I'm max health when it comes to these guys. Because one hit, remember, it takes off half my life points. And these guys are... I wasted my shot. This could be very bad. Oh, see what I'm talking... Mother... Really, dude? Come on now. Did I hit him? I did. Cool. He's going to get angry. No, he's not. He's going to be a good boy. Oh, he's dead. Cool. Upgrading Devour. Right there. And then... I mean, that's a lot. So, I might do even another Devour if we get enough levels for it, but I don't think we will. I don't think it's possible. Then again, I've been proven wrong on several different equations. 
Now, there was a guy who introduced me to this specific um, build. And I'm going to leave his name down in the comments because I don't really know how to say his name. But he's a guy, he's not a moderator or anything. He's just a chatter over at the Slug Discord. And he really helped me out with this. Otherwise, I don't think, without his like guidance, I don't think I would have been able to beat this level. Like, at all. Um... Because he told me what to do. He was a little confusing at first, and then I, like, understood understood it pretty fast. What did that... What am I getting hit from? Like, I mean, is it just damage over time effects? Like, is that what it is? Like, because I really can't tell what that damage is from. Is it from sitting in my own venom? Because if that's the case, that's really lame. No, it's not. Something strange. Something spooky. What are you going to call? Not me, because I'm not dealing with your spider problem. I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to real life, I'm not a big fan of the arachnophobes. Cool, so we gained up a level. Here's where the queen fight begins. We should have took them down really close to the queen, so we could have, like... Hold on, let me go eat first really quick. So I'm gonna have to do this really fast. So I'm gonna explain really fast. You're gonna go up here, you're gonna sling a shot at her, and then you're gonna venom and pull and then run the fuck away. I missed! Don't miss whatever you do. Don't miss like I did, like a complete tool. I gotta run away, because I have to watch it. <gasps> okay, we're, we're chilling, we're chilling. We're chilling like a villain, and we're spilling our feelings. Think that it affected her. And I'm venom pull and run away. Because I'm too much of a coward when it comes to this game. Now that food that's laying there is gonna be the immediate I don't think I stunned her there. I think that's gonna be the immediate food if I get venomed, but I'm gonna come right back over here. And this is gonna be my permanent food for uh, just overall hunger loss. She's out of her little catacombs, and now she's back in her catacombs. I've got to really watch out for that. Don't you? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm messing with God, dude, and I'm not down for it. Oh, man. I don't even care about her life points if I even... Uh, I hit him down a little bit, but. Nope. See her go full speed. Got me all fucked up. Now, this is probably a huge mistake because I didn't go back, but I'm feeling really confident right about now. So if she comes out, she, she might come out into that venom pool, which would be really nice if she did. But I think she's far more intelligent as a species to, like, not do that. I mean, come on, it is a spider, but some spiders are actually dumb. Okay, she senses me, I suppose. I don't think that hit her, so I'm not going back in there. You only, like, you need to be really confident that you hit her with this. Like, I just hit her with that, and she's coming out with the venom. I don't even know how much health she has. I don't even want to know. I, I, I mean, I really don't, guys. I really do not want to know how much health she has. Knocked off some of her health, but she is... Oh my gosh, dude. She is very angry, man. And that's just a scary thought. Like, you cannot get trapped in that venom. See, I haven't got trapped in the venom yet. But, hypothetically, if you do, and you're watching this, try to run back to this food and just eat it. And then eat it, eat it, eat it, you know? Right. Oh, this might be the time I get caught in it. This might be the time she follows me to my grave. Nope, looks like we're good. I missed. 
completely. I was way off, dude. Okay, I hit her, because you can see that at the top, a little splash effect. That's what you got to watch out for, is a splash. Oh. She's really hurt now. Did you hear that? Ugh. So, I don't, I'm not sure. I think she's on Half-Life right now, which is really good. Holy God, dude. See, I can't see her back there, so I'm not going to try and like risk myself unnecessarily for that and i just hit the wall because big brain i can't see her right now i'm gonna go back and eat some more because i can't see her i think the devour strap might be the best one so eat here go back Run up here. Okay, I hit her. That's gonna hurt. I just got hit by her venom. This could be over for me. We're chilling. So it works. The devour plan really works. This is good to know. So hopefully, whoever's still watching wants to know if you can survive an attack by her. Yes, you can. All thanks to Devour. Thank Lord Jesus. Try not to be cocky, though. That's really... We gotta be really careful, okay? We have to be very careful. It's not like we're hunting wabbits, okay? We've gotta be extra careful. I don't think I hit her there, because she moved back very quickly. I don't know if you noticed that. Okay. This woman, I swear. Well, I assume that it's a woman, but I, I'm, I'm not really sure. It could be a man. Aren't female spiders more aggressive, or is it male spiders? I'm not sure. For all those spider people out there, feel free to tell me in the comments, because I don't know. Okay, I hit her with that. She's half health from what it looks like, actually, which is really nice. She's not coming towards me, and I'm not pushing her. Like, you do not want to have a forcefully contact with this lady. She can come out just an eensy weensy bit. Please, girl. Or please, man. I don't know. Okay. You bitch. Gotta go back and heal. I'm not gonna eat this one. Eat this one here. Gotta conserve my food. You know what I'm saying? We cannot eat all of this or we're screwed. So just keep that in mind. If you eat all of three of those three spiders, you might actually be screwed for the entire game. Okay, I hit yeah, she's half, but she is angry. Holy dude. When she gets close like that, that scares me every time. I feel like she's going to like chase me back into the ground. I didn't Venom pull close enough to her, so fun times. Like I said, I'm not pushing back there. It's just not happening. I'm just not doing it. Like, if you are confident enough to do it, like, by all means. But I could die here. Okay, okay. We're chilling. Like, by all means, if you're confident enough to take that risk, then by all means, bro. You do that. You be the risky man, I will applaud you in the comments. If you say, hey, I went all the way in the back and I didn't get killed, then I applaud you, dear sir. Because you have more balls than I, than I do. I'm just not going back there. Like... It, do, like, do you see that? That's like an internal damnation of death. I'm dead again. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Holy gosh, that is way too close for comfort, man. 
The problem is, is she's not coming out. So I have to inch myself closer and closer. And that's a really big problem, bro. I'm also trying not to get killed. So I have to be really smart about this. I, I can't just take unnecessary risk. Because she sees me coming and then she runs away. Hypothetically, what if I venom pull here, right? And then run away. Like, will she come out to taste the flames? Definitely think that hit her. She hit me? From that distance? That's crazy, bro. <sighs> I'm getting low on food here. And I don't even think I've got her past half yet, which is a bitch. I really have to watch out with that one hit, dude. Oh, mother of Mary and Joseph and all holy things divine. See, that's what's supposed to happen. Not the other shenanigan bullcrap where she hits you. Okay, okay. I'll admit that I'm a very big much of a coward here. But man, this level is taking forever. Oh, nope. Sorry, got a little nervous there. Hopefully she's just sitting on that. That'd be great, dude. Because you got me all sorts of crazy if you think I'm going to go back there and hit her with a Venom. Now, obviously I could, and that would do tremendous damage, but at the same time, you got to think about yourself. You know what I mean? I mean, because I don't think I can make it back. I mean, I'm having struggles going back right now, even from that distance that I that she hits me at every time. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, you gotta be really fucking careful, dude. And this is how much food I've got left, and it's just... When, it, when you compare it to her health, it's just... Right. Hello, mother. Hello, mother. I hit her. Don't hit me! You sack of whore. Cool. See, that's, that's, some, that's some poopy crap. Right there. That little stunt that she just pulled. I was so far away from that. How did you hit me? I think I can withstand like another four attacks before like I am ultimately doomed. She is just not a happy camper today. Can you come out to that please? Please my love. My love. My dearest love. I wish you a Merry Christmas, I wish you a Merry Christmas, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a folly jolly year. Oh. Alright, we're straight chilling. I really wish she would just sit on that for like a minute or two. I mean, obviously not a minute, because then I'd win the game. But, I mean, yeah, that's kind of the point. I mean, I do want to win the game, but... Um... Dude, look at her health, bro. You whore. Okay, then. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Don't ever do that. If you see this right now, do not do that. I got ballsy. Ooh. I got really ballsy there. My feet clamped up so hard, I thought I was uh, doing the culture where the... um. 
can't think of the uh, people who used to like like cut their foot or whatever to like it make it smaller you know i don't know what what people did that but holy shizu man please i just want this achievement man i've been trying this for a week how many hours have i had this past two weeks 10 hours of this crap man She's nearly dead, which is really good. I've also got to be very careful as well. Nope. You made your bed, now lie in it. You? How am I hurt? What the hell happened to me? By the way, if you ever have that happen and you're like probably poisoned, you're probably dead. I don't even know what that is. I don't know what just happened to my guy. Ooh, she came out of her little hidey hole. Nope, not trusting that. Even if I did hit her, I wouldn't take the chance. I did. And she's not coming for that. Damn it. That's a double wave right there. She is so close to being dead, dude. Die? Oh. Okay, okay. We got one chance. Okay, okay, okay. I definitely think I might post my rage clips of just me dying on this on this mission or on this challenge at the very end of the video. Just for like the lulls of it, you know? So you guys can watch me rage like it was nothing, man. I didn't even see that fucking white thing go off her head, so I'm not trusting it. Gotta be very careful here. I mean, oh my god, look at my life points, bro. When I use that stuff, I don't lose health when I do it. What am I losing health from? Is it, is it just like not eating or like, I don't know what the hell's going on with that. But I'm glad I picked up on that before she hit me. Because if she hit me, I would have died. Hey, I, uh, how are you, my love? Oh. Oh, oh. Come back here to eat. <gasps> oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. She's not dead? What? You come on, man. <laughs> come on. How much health do you even have? I can't even tell. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Yes. Let's go! Appetite satiated. Let's go, bro. Holy shit to that level that, that that spider took so long. Wow. Okay. This is like my fifth recording of doing this, and then I did it for like a whole ass live stream. Uh for like three hours so this is actually really good that I, I i'm so happy that i beat this oh my gosh the satisfaction is really there okay so wow it took me an hour Woo. okay so yeah that is the halloween challenge and i i'm happy to say i'm beating it and i, I beat it and i'm never touching it again so Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, whenever they release that new content um, for the new update, 
I am 1000% going to play it. I'm 1000% going to give my guide on it. I'm going to do a playthrough of it, guide, playthrough, whatever you want to call it. And then you guys can watch that, learn from it, and see if it guys can see if it can help you guys out as well. Um, but like I said, I am going to be dropping the description to the guy that helped me out with this, with the uh, with the build. Um, but as you saw, my venom was uh, both venoms were ten, my bite was three, and my devour was also ten. I think actually my venoms were eleven. But still, like, holy, that that that's definitely the best build that you can do right there um, to win the challenge. Because that, just in case you get hit, you can uh, survive the uh, survive it with a bite. So, as I said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time when we do another video like this. Peace out.